When thinking about what type of bite your dog has, it's usually related to the origin and purpose of that breed. So a lot of our bully breeds were meant to fight bulls or be some kind of guard dog and they needed that strong underjaw so they could bite and hook and hold on to that bull. Really needed that bite to be able to grab a hold of and do its job of sticking in there. So that is why it is really, really important to understand the origin of your dog. When we look at a poodle's bite, we wanna make sure that they have that nice strong underjaw because they are supposed to carry a duck, which is quite a large animal, like through the swamp. So it's important that they had the proper bite and that comes to my next thing, which is size of teeth. Sometimes if you maybe look into the mouth of a Yorkshire Terrier, you might be surprised at how large its teeth are compared to many other toys. But that's because they were originally a terrier. In some parts of the world, they're actually in the terrier group. So it makes sense to me that they would have bigger teeth than dogs that were bred precisely just to be your companion and sit around and basically eat off your plate, right? Like, think about those things in terms. We talk about some breeds that have like a soft mouth. A soft mouth doesn't mean they have soft teeth, but we want when they take a hold of your hand um, to feel soft in there. Maybe those breeds might have slightly smaller teeth. We want them to have a soft mouth. So when they're retrieving smaller fowl to us, they're not damaging the body of that fowl. 